conflict. What is Benjamin Netanyahu up to? What's the objective? Well, I think, first of all, we have to be clear that some of these strikes are alleged, but Israel has taken responsibility for what's happened in Syria. And I think that, obviously, Israel is trying to show that it's not just hollow rhetoric. I mean, when Israel says that Iran cannot threaten uh, Israel from Syria, that it must not entrench there, uh, that Israel is watching, and that when Iranian forces, Iranian proxies, are staging drones or rockets, especially very close to Israel's uh, ceasefire lines, then they may face um, some sort of action from Israel. And I think that's clear, and Israel has been doing that over the last several years. Right, and this is staying with you, Seth. I mean, this is clearly Mr. Security uh, trying to burnish his credentials. Of course, he's got an election in just a few weeks in September. Um, how does this play with the Israeli public? Do they feel that this increased robustness, if you like, using airstrikes makes them safer? I don't think this is playing in deeply to the elections. I mean, Israel has admitted that it carried out more than a thousand airstrikes in the last several years. So I think that, you know, Netanyahu is the well-known in Israel over the last 10 years. He's managed the conflict very well, I think, from most people's perspective. Uh, most Israelis know him. If they object to certain aspects of Netanyahu's rule, it, it certainly is not usually the security issue. So I think he's trusted, and I think especially his kind of size on the world stage in terms of working with the Russians and other others like the United States is something that most Israelis feel comfortable or, or a certain percentage in terms of the security aspect. And also the most of the Israeli political parties agree on the security aspect. They all agree basically right. that the Iran is a threat to Israel. Or like a direct conflict with Iran or B, does he understand the riskiness of the gamble that he's taking insofar as tensions are now so increased? It also increases a risk of miscalculation. I don't think that anyone in Israel wants another conflict. I mean, Israelis have lived with conflict for 70 years, and they are aware, for instance, of Hezbollah's rocket threats of more than 100,000 rockets that Hezbollah says can reach all of Israel. I don't think that Iran wants a conflict, that Americans don't want a conflict either. The region has been through many years of vicious conflict against ISIS and the genocide it carried out. So no one really wants a conflict, but I think that, you know, Israel has its national security interests, and it has said that it doesn't want ballistic missiles being transferred uh, to Hezbollah or precision guidance or drones. I think Israel has been quite clear on that. So. I don't think Israel, if you look at Netanyahu's record since he came to power, in fact, there have not been large numbers of conflict. And the main interest of the government of Israel is to protect its stability so that the country is economically successful. Right. Um, Sammy, uh, we've heard he needs uh, to have a, a, a significant victory in the election. I don't think it relates to the election because I think that the main competitor against Netanyahu, the former chief of staff, Benny Gantz, and his generals, all share the same consensus in terms of Israel's national security, and all of them are aware. Some of them probably fought against groups like Hezbollah or Islamic Jihad or these groups that are supported by Iran. They know exactly what the threat is. And look, last year, for instance, in February and May, uh, there was an Iranian drone flown from Syria into Israeli airspace. There was rockets fired uh, near the Golan. So this isn't a question of retaliation. This is an ongoing kind of... Uh, simmering conflict and you're right and there could be for instance a miscalculation by one side or another that could spiral out of control and uh, hopefully that will not happen and certainly iran hopefully will understand the message in terms of its allies in terms of taking israel seriously all right um, i'm going to give the